We gather as a community of family and friends and feel ripples of excitement and tremors of joy as we celebrate the marriage of Philip and Nina. God has created a world of harmony. Soaring birds, a roaring ocean, brisk wind, endless sand, each unique, each in relationship and harmony with the others. God's first gift was breathing life into humans and turning us toward each other to live in equality and unity. Philip and Nina have come here to affirm their love for each other and enter into this sacred union. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is an opportunity for love to be learned. Marriage is a journey which we as the travelers are faced with many choices and responsible for these choices. Marriage is a call to servanthood. Marriage is a call to friendship. Marriage is a call to suffering. Marriage is not an event, but a way of life. Marriage involves intimacy in all areas for it to be fulfilling. Today, Philip and Nina, you come together bringing all of you to this marriage, all of your wonderful parts, all of your hurts and pains. You especially bring today all of your hopes and dreams for this marriage. You both have tremendous faith in each other as you trust your future to the other's care, and you have excellent reasons for believing you belong together, but you have no guarantees. Instead, you stand together about to accept on faith the challenge of creating the future together. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. You marry in faith that God has called you to live as one. You promise to be faithful to one another in big things as well as small. And your constant faith in each other will give form and substance to the beautiful hopes you have for your future. Faith is the conviction of things not seen. Unless you're an unusual couple, at times your marriage won't look anything like the vision you celebrate today. You may not feel much evidence of the love you now feel so keenly. At such times, remember this moment, remember the hopes and dreams that have been entrusted to your care. Marriage begins with a leap of faith that says, I will, before an unknown and unknowable future. Marriage is about being full of faith or faithful to one another. Faithfulness respects each other's ideas and feelings, keeps each other's secrets, guards each other's dignity, and honors each other in public and in private. In such faith, you'll find the fulfillment of all the hopes and dreams you have today. May God bless you both. Amen. Philip and Nina, have you come here freely without reservation to join together lawfully in marriage? If so, say, I have. Before God and family and friends, I ask you to affirm your vows to each other as you enter into this covenant of marriage and begin to share all the joys of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Philip, repeat after me. I, Philip, take you, Nina, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, so long as we both shall live, so long as we both shall live. Nina, repeat after me. I, Nina. I, Nina. Take you, Philip. Take you, Philip. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live with shenanigans and malarkey. <laughs> May I have the rings? These rings are an outward and visible sign of invisible truth which binds two hearts in one. As such, they're the symbols of the enduring and unending quality of the love which is now expressed between Philip and Nina. Philip, repeat after me. 
Nina. Nina, thank you. This ring I give you, this ring I give you, is my personal gift. That's my personal gift. My personal promise. My personal promise. Of love, trust, and pride. Of love, trust, and pride. That you are my wife. That you are my wife. Nina, repeat after me. Philip. Philip. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. It's my personal gift. It's my personal gift. My personal promise. My personal promise. Of love, trust, and pride. Of love, trust, and pride. That you are my husband. That you are my husband. Now the kids for the kids. We need Isis and Soren for this part. Go ahead and step close. Nina, repeat after me. Isis and Soren. Isis and Soren. With these rings. With these rings. I receive you into my heart. I receive you into my heart. To love is my own. To love is my own. Right middle finger. of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes Tears of sorrow, tears of joy. These are the hands that tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Please join me for a prayer blessing over their marriage. God in heaven, you ordained marriage for your children and you gave us love. We present you, Philip and Nino, come this day to be married. May the covenant of love they may be blessed with true devotion and spiritual commitment. We thank you for giving them strength and courage to keep their vows. Thank you for helping them to create for their family a peaceful, stable home of love as a foundation on which they can build their lives. When selfishness shows itself, grant generosity. When mistrust is a temptation, give moral strength. When there's misunderstanding, give patience and gentleness. When suffering becomes a part of their lives, give them a strong faith and abiding love. Amen. Amen. Philip and Nina, in the future, happy occasions will come as surely as the morning. Difficult times will come as surely as the night. To say the words love and compassion is easy, but to accept that love and compassion are built upon patience and perseverance is not easy. Philip and Nina, as much as you declared your willingness to end the state of marriage with each other, Declare the same the company of God and these witnesses. By the virtue of authority vested in me as an ordained minister and by the state of Florida, I pronounce you husband and wife, uniting the pure and holy bonds of wedlock. What God has joined, let no one separate. Go forth in this life as husband and wife with the blessing of God. Be loving, patient, and kind, and above all, forgive one another as God has forgiven you. It's my pleasure to introduce to you all for the first time Philip and Nina as husband and wife. You may kiss each other. <laughs> Very good. Let me stop.